stick around to the end of this video because I am giving away this amazing prize pack to one lucky winner. Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you 10 trash to treasure makeovers. These are all things that I got off the side of the road or for super, super cheap. So if you wanna see these projects, just keep watching. Project number one is a pottery barn table that I rescued off the side of the road. If you are into furniture flips and furniture makeovers, please consider subscribing. I have new videos that go live every Friday making over furniture. And you can also follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my furniture makeovers and to get behind the scenes access to my projects. I sanded down this top completely to bare wood and then I added a sun bleach stain by Varathane. And then I painted the entire base with Annie Sloan chalk paint in old white. I did one coat and really distressed it up for a very shabby farmhouse look. This is my personal kitchen table and I wanted a very chalky finish on this apron so I did not seal the chalk paint but I did seal the top because it's our kitchen table and we eat at it every day. So I sealed it with general finishes high performance flat. This is a very old video you can tell because they don't sell this in the green can anymore it actually comes in a blue can. But this is one of the top coats I used to use all the time and I just apply it with a foam brush like this. And nowadays I usually don't use these foam brushes as much. I like to use a synthetic brush. I've just got more practice with them and I have tons of brushes but if you're just starting out using a foam applicator like this is a great way to apply a top coat. This is our old house in Illinois, but we did move this table to Tennessee and it is still in our kitchen and it has held up really well. It does have little tiny scratches if you get really close and look at it in the right light, but just regular everyday use, it looks awesome. And next up is a desk that we also pulled off of the side of the road. Someone had left it out for the trash man after they moved into our neighborhood and our son needed a desk. So we grabbed it and I loved the modern finish on here. So I decided to do a smooth finish on here and how you get a smooth finish with a chalk like paint is by using a synthetic brush and adding some water to your paint to help smooth it out. Each project I'm sharing with you today has a full video tutorial. So I am going to link those all down below if you want any more details on one of the projects I'm showing you today. And I will put them in a playlist as well. I sealed this piece with wax. Jolie Wax is one of my favorite waxes and I love their wax brush as well. This desk is still in my son's room and it has definitely come in handy with the days of e-learning we have had to do in 2020. My next trash to treasure is this mismatched hutch that came my way from a friend. They were getting ready to take it to Goodwill and offered it up for me for free. And you guys know I rarely, rarely turn down free furniture. Um, and I thought this was a very unique piece because they actually just put like a little end table and at the top of a hutch together. And so it looks like a very unique piece. This was my first time using uh, the Chippy Barn paint, which is a ceramic paint and goes on very smooth. Smooth. This guy gave me a lot of trouble. So this actually has two <laughs> separate videos if you are interested in seeing this full makeover. This is one of my first projects that I used zebra brushes on. I am such a big fan of them now. They are great synthetic brushes to use when you're going for a smooth look and they have a lot of specialty brushes to get into the nooks and crannies of furniture. 
Zebra is also a really big champion of the furniture painting community and have weekly contests and a podcast, the before and after podcast, where they feature furniture artists and give you insight into how to start refinishing yourself. So check them out. This piece was pretty beat up, so I did distress it just a little bit. This piece ended up going to a gal with pretty short ceilings in her dining room, so this piece was perfect for her house. My next trash to treasure is a good makeover for chalk paint beginners. You may recognize this because this is my most popular video and project on YouTube. It's the video that made me a YouTuber. And if you haven't watched this video, this nightstand sat in my garage, I think for maybe almost a year and I had almost thrown it out about five times. I got it for free from a neighbor who had bought it off a of Craigslist and ended up refinishing it and filming the whole thing. I did a Java gel stain on top and I painted the apron in Annie Sloan chalk paint and people just loved this makeover so much that I've even done a second video on this using all Dixie Belle products. So this is a great uh, two-tone finish for a beginner to tackle. throwback to the old Annie Sloan chalk paint can design. I loved the way this looked. Uh, it's a lot more colorful now. If you have a paint can that has this old label on it, it's probably time to throw it out. And another thing that I want to mention, I would not use steel wool to do this to sand in between coats now. I would just use sandpaper because steel wool can get stuck in a water finish and rust. So don't do that. I will tell you that this didn't rust, but better safe than sorry. And again, there's that green general finishes can. This now comes in a blue can if you are looking for it. This is another piece that I did in Illinois and I sold it actually for very, very cheap. I think under $40. Up next is this farmhouse desk. This was a Facebook marketplace purchase and I think we got it for under $40, maybe $30. It was really inexpensive and we wanted a desk for my daughter too. To get this look on the top, I actually followed someone else's tutorial. And if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't do it the exact same way I did here in this video. And this is one of the first pieces that I started using Dixie Bell Paint Company products on. And you guys know I'm a big fan of their products and do videos with them a lot. Um, so it's fun to look back and see one of my first Dixie Bell projects. I'm sealing this top here with shellac because this is what the person did in the tutorial I was following. I would never use shellac to seal a piece anymore. I do use it for stain blocking, but here I would probably just use a water-based top coat. And this is a little trick. If you don't have white wax, you can always mix white paint into your wax or you can use any color and tint your wax by mixing that in. This piece is still in my daughter's room, but I have already refinished it because furniture is not safe in my house. After about two years, I get bored and usually redo it. So this is now pink and has gold handles on it. 
The next trash to treasure makeover is this provincial dresser that sat out in my friend's garage for probably about two years, I think, and it was in really, really rough shape, so that's why I'm calling it trash. <laughs> um, this was actually inherited from her husband's family, and this piece belongs to my friend Maggie, who helps me out with Pretty Distressed and who you will see on my premieres if you're ever on there. She has been a great help to me this year and a great addition to my team. I mixed a custom color up for the frame of this piece using a vintage duck egg and cotton to mellow out the beautiful blue green color a little bit. Something unique about this project is I made a chalk paint wash and used that to create a faux stain on my drawers. I used spray wax to seal this entire piece except for the top because I wanted it to be durable because it's going in a dining room. It's gonna have stuff set on top of it. So I did the top with gator hide and I don't really love the sheen of gator hide. And I learned a really cool tip this year that you can put a couple coats of gator hide on. And then if you wanna flatten the finish a little bit, you can use clear coat and flat on the top of that. Maggie put this piece in her dining room and it is a focal point when you walk in her house and it just turned out really beautiful and she really loves it and so do I. Okay, my next furniture flip is a really fun one. This was a Craigslist piano that I did for some clients this summer. They had got this for super, super cheap off of Craigslist and had just never brought it into their home. It had been sitting in an Airbnb because it didn't match the style of their home. So I was able to make this over for them and give it a beautiful black modern finish. Uh, for this one, I didn't do a smooth finish. I did a really textured finish because you see black pianos a lot. So I didn't want it to look like every other black piano out there. I wanted it to be matte and have some texture to bring some interest to the piece. These detail artist brushes by Jolie came in handy on this project to get into all these little detailed areas. And a big tip I love to share about working with black now is I love black wax straight over a black paint. I think it just gives a beautiful matte finish. Sometimes when you're working with a clear, it can get kind of streaky. And this is definitely breaking the rules because most people will tell you you have to clear wax before you put a colored wax on. But when you are waxing a whole black piece, I love finishing it off with black wax now. This transformation is definitely one of my favorites from this year and I just love the way it looks in my client's home. My next trash to treasure is this cute little retro desk that my neighbor gave to me after she moved in. She didn't have enough room for everything and this was her childhood desk growing up and she gave it to me to make over and this ended up being a little desk for my son who is in kindergarten and again it's 2020 so he needed a space to work in his room in case we went to remote school. Luckily he's only had to use it a couple of times but this was a really fun project and he kept telling me for months, mommy, you're going to make that over for me. And I'm like, no, I'm going to make a video and sell it. I want to make it pink. <laughs> but that's not what happened. We ended up making it over for him. And I did a really modern look with some Dixie Belle products. And he really loves his little desk. I 
I use Dixie Belle clear coat and flat to seal this entire piece. You guys know if you've been around my channel before, I'm a huge fan of this sealer. I love the flat finish, but another bonus of it is that you can use it over raw wood and you can use it over paint and the transition was just seamless as I was top coating this piece. And another little trick I showed you guys in this video when a natural wood is looking a little bit too yellow for me, after I've top coated it, I like to take a white wax to kind of dull the finish down and give it a whitewash look. And this is actually my only award-winning piece. This one, Zebra's a pick of the week back in the summer after I posted it. My next trash to treasure furniture flip is this Mission Nightstand. It was painted white because I used this for the battle of the top coats that I did with Katie Scott from Salvage by K Scott. Those videos are really fun if you want to know which top coats can withstand damage and use. So I had to sand off all that paint and top coat that I used for my experiment, but this piece was really cute once I got that paint off and I decided to use fusion mineral paint for the first time on here because I had had so many requests to try it out. And I love the hardware on here, so I ended up spray painting that gold and picking a really beautiful green fall color to do a little fall makeover with this nightstand. And I loved the top so much, I decided to just leave it raw and I used my favorite top coat that I've already mentioned in this video, my Dixie Belle clear coat in flat to seal the top of the piece. I liked this little guy so much that I just moved it into my living room to enjoy for the fall season. And I actually am loving it at Christmas time too, and it has held up really well. For my last trash to treasure furniture flip, I have saved a true Cinderella story. This piece was in such rough shape that Salvation Army and Goodwill wouldn't take it and it ended up on my doorstep because you know I will always take a shot at free furniture and I had to remove a bunch of veneer from this piece. I did a video on that and then it sat in my garage forever because there was actually an additional layer of veneer I ended up having to remove from the top. But once I did that I found some beautiful planked wood underneath and I knew I wanted to do a rustic white wood finish on the top. I used Dixie Bell's No Pain Gel Stain in Pickling White. This is a great way to get a whitewashed wood effect. Once I put the stain on the top, I didn't think that the body and the top had enough contrast between them. So I pulled out this beautiful sea glass color and decided to do a two color distress on this piece. And it was the best thing that ever happened to it. I sealed this piece with a natural wax. This is called Big Mama's Butter, and this is my favorite scent, Orange Grove. It smells like oranges. It's so delicious and it's a natural sealer. So if you don't like working with chemicals, this is a great option for you. Thank you. 
this has been my most popular makeover and video that I've made all year and I love the fact that this piece wouldn't even be accepted by a thrift store. It just shows you that you can save almost anything. A true trash to treasure and I did sell this one to someone local in Nashville so I hope they are still enjoying this cute little piece. I have put together an incredible giveaway to celebrate the holiday season. I'm going to be giving this prize package that is valued at over $550 to one lucky winner. There are three easy steps to enter this giveaway. Number one, like this video. Number two, comment below and let me know which trash to treasure was your favorite makeover. And number three, subscribe to my newsletter using the link below in the description box. This is how I'm gonna be able to notify you. I need to have your email to let you know if you're the winner. Don't worry, I don't spam you. I send out one newsletter a month so you can know what's going on at Pretty Distressed. And if you already get my newsletter, you are gonna be entered as well. Just make sure you like and comment on this video. All the rules and eligibility are down in that description box, so go check it out and good luck.